A local musician is rising to fame with a unique story and sound. He's doing it all while paying it forward. CBS 2's Marcy Gonzalez has more on El Compo Negro's music and generosity. <laughs> This is probably not what comes to mind when you think of music out of Compton. And this is probably not the guy you'd picture behind this traditional Mexican music. But El Compa Negro, which translates to the black friend as he's known, is redefining those impressions. The 26-year-old African-American who grew up singing gospel stumbled onto corrido music as a kid when he heard his neighbor's band playing it. One of the songs, I don't know how, it just got stuck in my head. And at this time, I didn't even speak Spanish. But I, here you go, here I am, I'm just singing a song. And the guy, he hears me, he's like, wait, hold a minute, wait a minute, grab the mic. And they're like, no, sing, sing, sing. So I started singing and that's how it, yeah. After that, <laughs> this video of him singing at Citrus High School in Paris went viral. <laughs> then a second video of him belting out a cover song by famous regional Mexican singer Larry Hernandez went viral too. Hernandez saw it and wanted to meet him. Cheer up, man, Larry's looking for you. And Larry was like my idol <laughs> as a kid. So once I see that he's looking for me and we get in contact with him, he invited me to sing in, in San Diego in front of like, I want to say like a good 20,000 people. That was when I, I knew that that's what I wanted to do, you know, for the rest of my life. El Compa Negro's career has been simmering for a while, but has now taken off. He's now known as the Eminem of Mexican music and just this summer became the first regional Mexican music singer to sign with Death Row Records, sharing this video on TikTok of himself with the label's co-founder. El Compa Negro, whose real name is Ryan Lowry, considers himself an ambassador of sorts, tackling what he calls the black-brown dilemma. He says there are more similarities than differences between the communities. I want to spread the message that, hey, we, we need to stop this fighting and all this stuff because we are very, very, very alike. And Lowry doesn't take his good fortune lightly, now using it to help others by holding events, giving out free gas. He says this is an opportunity for the black and brown communities to see that they are struggling through the same financial difficulties. And everybody can relate. We all are, you know, we've had it to hear with these prices, you know, of the gas. So I was like, hmm, that's a good way to give back to my community, you know filling up tanks and hearts in the community that made him the groundbreaking rising star he now is. This is what this is all about, is bringing the community together because a lot of people, when they think about Compton, they think of NWA and black people. But Compton does have a big Latino presence as well, so I want to, you know, show that too. So it's time, you know, get together. We're like long lost brothers. Marcy Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Yes, oh.